New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co., Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England, and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Chef Bill Brodsky is the Chief Culinary Officer of Boston Nightlife Ventures. Hey, hey nice how are you doing? You well, I had a chance to meet up with him at one of the restaurants he oversees, called Southern Kin at Assembly Row in Somerville. So the whole Southern thing, tell me about... I think people really identify with yeah. comfort food. Yeah. Um, so this isn't like know, a barbecue? No, it's no, like no. It's different kind you know, of Southern. Often, often a misconception. Um, southern Kin, we do have some barbecued items and some sauces of, of different regions of the South right. uh, that are represented on the menu. However, it's, this is really about soul food, right? This yeah. is about oh, yeah. um, kind of relaxing, you know, sitting around a table, enjoying the people that you're with. And, and enjoying some really tasty, hearty food. You gotta slow down and you know that, appreciate the finer things. Right, because you lived there, right? I did. I, I lived in the South for uh, years. I moved to Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, I got an amazing opportunity with a, uh, a very bougie hotel um, to kind of have free reign and, and reinvent it and rebrand the restaurant that I was at. Oh, very um, cool. Where, you know, we, all we did was Southern food. And, and, you know, Southern food is so much about bringing people together to enjoy a good memory. Uh, it's about hospitality. And, uh, you know, it, there's certainly some amazing food there. Yeah. So it was really fun to bring that to Boston. Mm -hmm. So this is just one of the restaurants that you oversee yeah, we, in we, your we, role. We currently have five restaurants yeah. and we're about to open our sixth in the spring. Um, but yeah, this, this has been a, a passion project for me. Yeah. Uh, obviously, having lived in the South for an extended length of time. Right. Um, and identifying with the food and, and well, knowing that people here haven't had it. They haven't had it. And well, they haven't had it like this. I mean, I know deviled eggs, but this is <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, that's deviled eggs on crack. Oh my goodness. So Look at that. We, mustard seed? What do we have here? We yeah, have tobacco? A, what a little we? mustard seed caviar. We uh, we take the uh, the egg mixture and we, we add a little bit of truffle oil to it. Got a pickled onion there too? It's What's got some pickled <laughs> shallots on it. It's got some uh, Benton's country ham that's been dried out. A little dill? Uh, a little bit of dill wow. and a little bit of trout roe. This is delicious. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. I also got to try she crab soup, fried green tomatoes, alligator tacos, a gussied up biscuit, frogmore stew, catfish, savory chicken and waffles, and of course, no southern meal would be complete without pie. Just delicious. It was clear that when we cooked together later on for the party, I'd be learning from a master. Back at Catherine's house, Nancy Pye from the English Garden in Swampscott had arrived. I helped her set out her beautifully colorful floral arrangements, and then it was off to the kitchen to start preparing for dinner. Do you remember Chef Bill? We're doing some really fun food. We're focusing on our, our Little Owl Tavern concept, which is uh, kind of coastal Italian that we're kind of in beta stages right now. We're looking for a location. So we're gonna give you a couple of sample dishes off of that menu. Okay. We'll be doing octopus with a, uh, a white bean mousse and a little bit of a, a salad. Uh, we'll be doing a little spaghetti arugulata dish. We'll be doing a, uh, a really playful little lobster and pumpkin soup uh, with some sherry crema. And we're also doing a uh, like a roasted porcini rubbed uh, beef tenderloin. But Ooh. what we're gonna focus on right now is we're gonna work on a polenta cake. Oh, and I have I'll, to work, yeah. Talk about this that's kitchen. That's right, we gotta though. put do you to work. this kitchen? This kitchen's pretty awesome. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we, we have our mixing bowl full of some butter. Why don't you throw the sugar into the uh, the mixing bowl? Okay. That's this guy over I'm here. I'm throwing the sugar in. The yep. whole thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go for it. Oh. And we're gonna let that go probably for about 10 minutes. So it goes from that yellow butter color, it starts to get white and airy, right. okay? okay. Um, so now we should add our eggs in one at a time. And this is gonna ensure that the batter is consistent throughout. I got it. So now we're gonna right. add our apple cider. Okay. In here we have our, our flour. Okay. And we have some uh, polenta. Okay, so the magic television oh. yes. dough is about ready. That's right. So we combine the two batches here. That's why it looks so full. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, uh, the pans with the batter, mm -hmm. and we're gonna bake them off for 300, at 325 degrees mm -hmm. for approximately 45 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll uh, glaze it with our, our almond and apple glaze. Yeah, that sounds All right, good. We're good. All right, so we're gonna make some piadina tonight. Piadina. Yeah, so it's basically like a flatbread, the Italian version. Um, I like to make mine a little bit more like a pita bread. Okay. Okay, so my recipe is more reminiscent of a pita. But what you wanna do is you wanna start pulling it over on itself, okay? So imagine you, you pull it and then you kind of tuck it in. Pull it and tuck it in, okay? There you go. Yeah, you got it. Oh, 
doorbell. Guests are starting to come. <laughs> Yes, Everyone's are. saying, what is cooking? It smells so good. And the music. And so we're going to do some plating. Yeah. Our bread is ready. Our yeah, so we, we did a homemade bread course. So we're going to be serving this with a truffled um, ricotta cheese. Okay, we're using a hand-packed ricotta cheese. All we'll do is just kind of spread that down on the plate like that so everybody can get some. So onto this, we're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to add a little bit of clover honey, chopped pistachio. And this has just been salted and toasted That's off. That's a nice texture. And this is um, some dried olives. It looks so pretty too, all speckly. Yeah, so are you ready to try one? I am. Well, right. I get to try. So let's, let's do this. So we smatter it on like that. Yeah. We're building one for you. <laughs> Hopefully you like all the, these ingredients. Yes. Oh. That's not to like. Oh my gosh, All right. that's so good. Oh. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, the bread's so warm too. Mm. Oh. <laughs> well, good. Mm, I love that. We did our job. Mm. <laughs> so we're doing some charred octopus, okay? Uh, this octopus has been cooked for a uh, six hour sous vide, which is under vacuum. It's char grilled. Uh, we toss it with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, there's some uh, red pepper. Uh, flakes that are on your, your plate. Those are Aleppo peppers. And uh, I just like the seasoning playing nicely with the salad and, and the rest of this dish. And as well, there's sea beans on top of the octopus. And sea beans grow in marshlands. Uh, they have a very uh, salty, briny flavor, but it carries the ocean theme through, uh, which gets refreshed by the greens, hopefully. All right, so awesome. enjoy, your, enjoy your first course. Thank you, okay. Chef. Great. Delicious. Six hours. Six hours, right? So you know it's gonna be tender. I just, you know, I look around and I see my friends and the people that I love here and without you, these past couple of years would've been tough, really tough. So I love you to the bottom of my heart. I'm so glad you're here. This isn't even about this. This is about you and what you mean to me. Kathy and Mark, thank you so much for sharing your home. Gracious homeowners, an incredible chef, Chef Bill Brodsky, all these great friends. Danny, thank you so much. That's New England Living in Swampscott, Massachusetts. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> New England Living TV is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero, Wolf & Co. Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England and Marvin Windows and Doors. And of course, please stop into the all-new Seven Died in the Seaport District in Boston.